What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. In today's video, I am going to be cracking down on my car to see exactly what's wrong with it because I have no idea. I just installed a new intake and ever since I installed this intake, I've been having some weird problems. Classic Volkswagen things, am I right? I'm not sure what's wrong with it. It almost feels like something's cutting out or it's pulling in more air from somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure. But here's exactly what's going on. Anyways, we're on the 5,000 RPM range under wide open throttle. It kind of like just sputters, like it's just kicking out, like almost like it's uh, two-stepping while moving. The only thing it could be is this intake system or maybe an injector, but they're new. On top of this, wouldn't it be bad to go ahead and give the spark plugs a check? I also posted it to a Facebook group, and a lot of people were saying the connection to the turbo down here could be loose, and that a lot of people have had that problem before with their intake. By the way, we do have a new mic on right now. I went and bought a new mic after that mic acted up in the last video over like the most important part of the video, the sponsored part. But let's uh, let's crack this girl open. The great thing about a Volkswagen is that they don't use regular f***ing tools. They use like triple squares and T-series screws, like T-25s and shit. But luckily I have every single tool known to man to replace a Volkswagen engine, so I think we're good. I'm into the, uh, the hard part now. Don't laugh, but this is how I usually have to take out the spark plugs. Masterpiece right here. Tell everybody this, having a splitter is all nice and dandy until you have to actually work on your car. Oh yeah, smells like fuel. I'm not even gonna go ahead and pull out the rest of the spark plugs. That just told me that. At least one needs to be replaced, so I might as well just go buy a pack. Also, if you guys all have like, you know, cars and you, you all have buddies, hopefully you guys have friends, um, vest and some walkie-talkie. It's like the best thing if you guys all have cars. Thank you, sir. I think it's fixed for the most part because it's driving absolutely fine. Before I used to like, it would gain boost around 2,000 to 3,000 RPM at like 25% throttle, but the boost would go absolutely nowhere. Like it would just, it's driving actually really fine. Today's video. Do another pull. Roger that. Nope, nope, there we go. Alrighty guys, so it seems like we're still dealing with the issue, but this time it's more or less whenever I shift it just cuts all power. I'm not sure why it does that. I think it has to do something with the diverter valve. For the most part, the issue where it's fluttering and uh, you know, the fuel, it feels like the fuel's cutting is fixed. So, one step at a time. Ooh, they're both turning. Just met up with a few of the uh, the lads, the boys. Just do depth it. check the puddles. No idea what we're doing. This is this is when boredom strikes, actually. Oh, he's doing it in reverse. Oh. Yeah, bud. Test. Testing? Does this mic work? So after that last clip that you guys just saw, um, long story short, my camera stopped working. I got a lot of water actually inside the camera, which I don't understand now how that happens in the mic, the brand new mic that I just bought actually, because in the last video, my other mic stopped working, so I bought a brand new one. And this one got wet too. I'm not sure if it's working, hopefully it is. We're just having a grand old time. That's what we're doing. We're loading up the bike, so you guys already know. We gonna ride today. It's actually been like a couple days since I 
rode my bike, so I'm uh, kind of gonna be not good. Anyways, guys, in today's video, we are going to be going over to O'Reilly's, and there's a skate park right next to O'Reilly's. So we're gonna catch a session with Tony. That should this should be here pretty soon. We're gonna go catch a session, and then after that, we are going to come back home and install some new spark plugs I'm getting from O'Reilly's. I'm gonna do a quick little boost leak test because there's a boost leak somewhere in my car, my tuner said. So we're gonna test everything out, see if everything's good, and pretty much just prepping for me to go big turbo. I'm trying to go big turbo for the end of the month. There's just a few limiting factors right now, literally almost every single time before I'm about to go big turbo with my car, something happened. Where my car is just like, no, you're not doing that to me. A couple weeks ago I was gonna do a big turbo, but then my diverter valve failed, and it was just a whole mess with that, but now it's, it's something fuel spark boost leak related so I need to find the boost leak and just get my car ready for this big turp scheme while we're at it Tony's here so let's go we have made it to oh oh O'Reilly all right we just made it to the skate park right now I'm gonna strap up the GoPro and just catch a quick little session before we uh, get started with fixing my piece of before we even get started guys just going to be chill riding Feel good, look good, ride good, Maybelline. Yeah. I forgot. I have a titanium sprocket, I can't do that. If you come drive to Chin Angle Skate Park, you'll see two older dudes trying to relive their childhood. I think I filmed that. Shoulders hurting. People getting kinky at the skate park. That session was brought to you in part by SeatGeek. If you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that session. I am sweating. We just made it back home right now. I'm waiting for my car to cool down and then we're gonna get going with uh, the couple things that we have to do. So before we do the spark plugs, I'm gonna do a boost leak test. How I'm gonna do this is probably just gonna take the intake filter off right here shove the tester through that and just pressurize it. Of course, there's better ways just connect it straight onto the uh, turbo back there, but it's just a pain in the ass. We're just gonna go straight from the intake filter because it should work either way. That whole system should be pressurized and there shouldn't be any air leaks. So with that, let's get this uh, intake filter off. I guess this goes to show for anybody that has a uh, GTI. This is how you boost leak test your car. Onto this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect it from here. That's sick. Then just pressurize it straight from the math. Should not be a problem. So I just went ahead and picked this up to make my life a little bit easier while doing this because this is never fun to do and I don't have a uh, air compressor. 12 volt right here. For you guys' information, I might need a jump start after this. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, you can hear it. Is that supposed to be leaking? No, I hear it. You think? I, I hear it kind of like down here. Yeah, no, it's this because I can hear it bubbling from the outside here. Yeah, the intake manifold. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try to tighten the one bolt right there. Maybe the shop that uh, did the carbon cleaning. Didn't tighten it fully. Oh no. Huh. Oh no. That's not good. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well, we have a snap bolt. Whether it's snapped into the actual engine block, I don't know. It felt weird to begin with. Did you hear that noise? 
not look normal. I don't see any metal shavings or anything. So I brought this car to get carbon cleaned and I'm pretty sure they stripped and just ugga dug at this bolt in. Cause that's not good. All right, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to <laughs> cry. Think about what I'm gonna do now, cause that's not good. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and I actually, we went to go pull off some screws off this Sphinx that we have in the back, but those didn't work. But I found this bolt right here. You guys probably can't even see that. And it seems like it's, it's tight on there for right now. So what happened is that it stripped straight from the block. But we found a bigger bolt that so we're gonna see if it still leaks from there. If it does, I'm just gonna put a gasket maker around the whole edge of this and hopefully that seals it. And uh, we'll go from there, but let's, let's see how. Yeah, all right, well, we fixed that problem. Hopefully, it's all fixed up. It doesn't do that stupid sputter thing. But if it does a stupid sputter thing, it can be best. between that shift but she feels good last night I was so used to it cutting out and in and out and having to shift at like 5,000 rpm because of it um it only does it sometimes but since I'm so used to that I have to take a break in between the shifts so I can let the rpms go back down but she feels fine data log really quickly send it over my tuner hey GTI gang it's gonna be a third gear pull I'm gonna read the logs later see if everything's fine I also want to give a quick shout out to one of the best tuners in the game, guys. Sneaky Tuned. He's helped me out so much for this car, guys. It's ridiculous. I was having problems nonstop with nearly everything about this car. Problems that I honestly didn't even see, um, especially when I was on an old tune. I'm not going to list the company off, but their old tune was like... I sent a whole bunch of data logs to them and they said my car was perfectly fine. And I sent a couple data logs to Sneaky Tune. The man over at Sneaky Tune said, hey, you're shit. So if you guys have a Mark 6 GTI, a Focus ST, um, I think he tunes razors too. Go check him out, Sneaky Tune. Best in the game right now. And no, I'm not sponsored by him. He's not paying me to say this. This is just from the bottom of my heart. Like he is the best in the game. This isn't a promotion, this isn't anything. This is just me being honest with you guys. If you guys have a GTI, Focus ST, anything, get a sneaky too. Get some air. If you guys want pops and bangs like this, then go to sneakytune.com. Listen to that pop. Yeah. Yeah, I know my car's a mess by the way. You guys don't need a you guys don't need to post it in the comments. The car is fixed. And that's probably gonna end this video. So if you guys seem to enjoy this video whatsoever, then please go show some love down below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.